This is an introduction for the MOBA simulator for Python 2018.1 by TLK Thermal. After you install the MOBA simulator, you can use it in your development environment. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio and I already created an empty project. This is the only file in this project and I'm now going to edit this file. Down here you see an interactive window so there is a Python instance running and I can send commands to it and receive the response. This is a nice way to develop your code. I'm going to start um, with loading and simulating of an FMU. So first of all I have to import the MOBA simulator from the MOBA simulator module. I have to instantiate the simulator and I have to load the model from my demo package. This autocomplete feature is very useful. So it seems that this part of the code is working and I'm going to copy it to my application. So to simulate I now have to call the simulate function. In this tooltip you see that the first argument is the output interval length and the second argument is the stop time. If you want to ask for the full documentation you can use this help function and then you get the documentation string which gives you an example and uh, a description of this method. So I want to call the simulate function, simulate for 10 seconds and then I want to save the results in a variable. So here you see that the time starts at 0 and stops at 10. The result is a dictionary and contains all the variables which are logged. You can select the result variables with this set result variable names and uh, in this documentation you see that you can give a list of variable names or you can give a regular expression. Let's say select all variables that contain COP. But I'm now going to leave it default selection and I will continue. Okay, I now simulated up to 10 seconds and I can set the input, the first input uh, first I'm going to ask for the input names. So these are the input variable names and I want to set the first input of this FMU. So I'm going to call the set function. Set uh, The input of the set function is a dictionary um, and I'm going to set the first input to 15. And now I'm going to continue the simulation with a stop time of 20 and I'm now going to plot the results using pyplot the x variable is um, the time and the y variable is um, my first or let's say second output variable name and you can see that uh, the simulation starts and then this is the response to the changed input. The log messages are currently not visible in this window usually they are written to the standard output but this seems to be hidden in Visual Studio, so I'm now going to activate the, uh, the graphical log window, which is also available in Excel. This is the log window. So if I now continue the simulation uh, with a stop time of 30 seconds, then you can see that it starts at 20 seconds and stops at 30 seconds. The FMU usually is executed in co-simulation operation mode, but I can see that there's also FMU for model exchange available. So I'm going to set 
the operation mode to FMU for model exchange. And then I can simulate. Oh, now I first have to reset the model state and then I can simulate to 10 seconds. Ah, okay, I forgot to save the results, so I'm going to save the results and the rest variable. So here I get a little bit more information about the solver statistics, so number of F evaluations and that the Sundar CV OD is used. I can also select the DIE solver, so first of all I'm going to ask for the DIE solver list. So there is an ARC ODE available and I want to use it. So I'm going to set the DIE solver to sundials arc ODE and then I'm going to simulate uh, this changing the solver resets the model state so I'm now going to simulate for a very short period because the solver is not very fast. Now I can see that the simulation is finished within a few seconds. So I can now use this code window to write a for loop. So first I'm going to create a variable for the results, then I write this for loop for i in range 5 and I will start the loop with resetting the model state. I will set the input of the first input of the FMU to um, 15 plus, let's say, I divided by 5. And then I'm going to simulate for 10 seconds and save the result in this variable. And finally I'm going to um, print the, uh, the time variables. So this first simulation starts second simulation, third simulation. And finally I get the time variables. So this is how you could implement a parameter variation. You can also use the MOBA simulator to save your results. So you can export them as MAT file or as CSV file or you could use Python methods to save the data and the mobile simulator also provides a set of analysis features so you could um, use the graphical parameter dialog which is available in Excel to um, take a look at the model information or the experiment setup all these parameters inputs outputs and so on or you could um, ask for the uh, co-simulation capability flex or you could ask for the state space form of the system. So this is what you would get uh, as the directional derivatives of FMI2. But to do this, you should select the model exchange mode. There is also a set of um, experimental features, for instance, searching for the steady state, or um, get state and set state, or a serialized state. These features are available down here, or multi-threading methods. So, uh, but uh, these experimental features are not fully ready yet, so we might change them in future. The state space form is also available for FMI1, so if it is not available, uh, not provided by the FMU, it can be calculated using a difference quotient. 
You can also use the MOBA simulator to load DimoSim executables or DimoLa result files. And it is a very robust and efficient C++ implementation, so it is not written in Python. It has been extensively tested against other software, so um, please check our cross-check results on the FMI homepage. And if you have further questions, do not hesitate to contact us. So thank you.